Airplanes have been built in countries around the world for decades. As these planes become outdated or no longer needed, they must be stored in boneyards and eventually disposed of. Boneyards around the world serve several functions, including temporary storage, maintenance, parts reclamation, and scrapping. An aircraft boneyard or aircraft graveyard is a storage area for aircraft that are retired from service. Most aircraft at boneyards are either kept for storage with some maintenance or have their parts removed for reuse or resale and are then scrapped. Boneyard facilities are generally located in deserts, such as those in the southwestern United States, since the dry conditions reduce corrosion and the hard ground does not need to be paved. Here are some of the largest aircraft boneyards in the world. But before we jump into number 1, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Davis Monthan. Located in the Arizona city of Tucson. This graveyard stores around 4,400 aircraft, arranged over nearly 2,600 acres. The facility workers call it simply Boneyard. The location is run by the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group. The graveyard gave shelter to different kinds of airplanes, including broken or retired B-52 bombers, B-29 Superfortresses, C-47 Skytrains, United Airlines Boeing 727-100, and many more. The majority of the preserved aircraft in the Davis Monthan belongs to military aviation. The facility has controlled access, not permitted for visitors. The only access to the boneyard is via a bus tour. The tour begins nearby Pima Air and Space Museum and lasts about an hour. The bus stops at different locations of the Davis Monthan, but no one is allowed off the bus. Southern California Logistics Airport. The boneyard is located in the city of Victorville in San Bernardino County, in the Mojave Desert. A warm and dry climate here made it a perfect place to keep aging airplanes for extended periods. The airport's longest runway is more than 15,000 feet long, capable of handling fully loaded 747s. The Victorville graveyard is currently storing around 275 passenger and cargo aircraft. Numerous large ex orient and British Airways Boeing 747, Singapore Airlines, Air New Zealand, and Cathay Pacific planes, older McDonnell Douglas DC MD-10 and MD-11 freighters, Lockheed, and Airbus aircraft owned by major airlines are currently kept at Victorville. Pinal Air Park. The heliport is a private-use military facility operated by the Arizona Army National Guard. Pinal Air Park's primary function is to serve as a boneyard for civilian commercial aircraft, where the area's dry desert climate mitigates corrosion of the aircraft. It is the largest commercial aircraft storage and heavy maintenance facility in the world. Even so, many aircraft which are brought here wind up being scrapped. Nearby the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group at Davis Monthan Air Force Base provides the same service to the United States federal government. Aircraft at Pinal Air Park include those formerly operated by Cathay Dragon, Cathay Pacific, Delta Airlines, Northwest Airlines, Aerosur, Hellenic Suriname Airways, and other carriers. Tarmac Aircraft Boneyard. Teruel Airport. The Teruel Airport is located about 100 miles south of Zaragoza, eastern Spain. Its location 1,000 meters above sea level and a cold, dry plain climate provide perfect conditions for the retired passenger airliner's storage. It was initially constructed to house commercial aircraft, including Boeing, Airbus, and Bombardier. Opened in 2013, the facility nowadays offers long-term aircraft parking, recycling, aircraft painting, aircraft assembly, and fitting out services. It is the biggest aircraft boneyard in Europe, designed to handle 250 large planes. After the air travel was put on hold due to the coronavirus pandemic, different European carriers, including British Airways, sent some of their Boeing 747s to Teruel for storage.
Alice Springs. The world's newest airliner boneyard is located at Alice Springs Airport and was completed in 2013. It began operations in June of 2014. Stage 1 of the multi-million dollar facility covers about 10 hectares and includes two access roads, a maintenance shed, a hard stand area for up to 25 planes, and a pad on which parts can be removed or added to aircraft. The storage facility is operated by Asia Pacific Aircraft Storage Limited, which chose Alice Springs because its dry, arid climate is ideal for aircraft storage and preservation. It caters to Asia Pacific carriers as well as other airlines from around the world. It is capable of handling all aircraft types, including the Airbus A380, Boeing 747 and Boeing 777. APAS represents the first commercial aircraft storage and recycling facility in the Asia-Pacific region. The facility was ultimately selected due to its climatic suitability, significant existing infrastructure and capacity for major expansion. The facility benefits from an arid desert environment characterized by an average year-round humidity of approximately 25%, outside Australia's cyclone zone, low rainfall, and with low-lying vegetation providing additional dust suppression qualities. In addition to aircraft storage, APAS also provides services related to maintenance, part-out and end-of-life operations. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, various overseas airlines including Singapore Airlines, Scoot, Noxcoot, Cebu Pacific, and Cathay Pacific are, were storing their aircraft in the facility. Phoenix Goodyear Airport. Following the end of World War II, the primary role of the JIR was to store and preserve U.S. Navy, U.S. Marine Corps, and U.S. Coast Guard aircraft. At some point, the facility stored more than 5,000 aircraft. By early 1958, the numbers decreased to 2,500 aircraft. After the closure of Nas Litchfield Park in 1967, the city of Phoenix purchased the airport for a general aviation facility. Today, the airport offers aircraft maintenance, pilot training and stores such commercial planes like Boeing 737, Airbus A340 and Boeing 747s. Kadinka Field. Domodedovo Airport. Initially built to service commercial flights, the airfield became one of the most popular aircraft boneyards in Russia. The last plane took off from here in 2003. Nowadays part of the aircraft has been scrapped. The machines that were better preserved are now in the Vadim Zadorozhny Museum of Technology. The vast territory of the aircraft boneyard on the Kadinka field is surrounded by barbed wire and guarded.